Hey guys, Josh and Amy from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're spending the day in La Jolla. La Jolla is a seaside community north of San Diego that's one of the most beautiful places in Southern California. The area is full of coastal bluffs, stunning beaches, and lots of seals and sea lions to check out. Amy and I spent 24 hours there a few weeks ago and here's what we did. Last night we stayed in downtown La Jolla. We're set out this morning to grab some coffee, go hang out at the beach, and then go to brunch. Amy and I always love trying new coffee places and we saw Better Buzz and their cool neon sign on the way to the coast, so that was our first stop. Got our coffee, heading to the beach. It was only a five minute walk from the coffee shop to the beach, so that's where we decided to go. Since the tide was high and the beach was relatively non-existent, we were the only people there. Not a bad spot to drink some coffee. Not at all. This is one of the best things about La Jolla. There's tons of these small little coves that you can hang out at and on a weekday morning, it's usually not too busy. We even got to see some dolphins and birds out in the water in front of us. On the brunch. It was about a 10 minute walk from Shell Beach where we were hanging out to our brunch destination. We made it a little bit longer by walking along the coast, looking out over children's pool and some of the birds that were hanging out there and then heading back into the city. All right, so we're heading to the cottage right now in La Jolla, which is the most popular brunch spot in the city. Pro tip, you can add your name to the wait list through Yelp so that you don't have to wait when you get there. This place can easily be an hour to an hour and a half wait on the weekends. We had already put our name in though, so it was only about a 10 minute wait for us. Plus they had coffee you could drink while you're waiting. Makes the wait nice. Mahi eggs benedict. Morning glory breakfast sandwich. That brunch was awesome. I feel like I need a nap now though. But we're gonna head over, check out the cave, and then walk along the coast. After brunch, we walked around, went in a few shops, and saw a couple art galleries. Peter Lick is one of my favorite photographers, so I always enjoy seeing his gallery when I'm in La Jolla. On the way to the cave, stop at some of these galleries, National Geographic, Peter Lick, and Dr. Seuss. I can't take any pictures inside, but they're fun to check out. From there, it was over to the historic Sunny Jim's Cave. This tunnel and cave store has been here since 1902. Sunny Jim's cave has been here for over a hundred years and evidence suggests that it may have been a place that smugglers used to bring in their goods. Heading into the cave. It takes descending over 145 stairs to get down to the sea cave below. It's a little bit short in here. That, yeah. Just a little bit. Once you make it to the bottom, there's a small platform located right in the middle of the sea cave that lets you look out to the ocean in front of you. That's all there is to do though when you make it to the bottom. A little anticlimactic, but it was still cool. On to the next spot. Going down the 100 stairs is one of the coolest parts about the cave. It'll get your blood pumping on the way up though. Made it out. Where we're at right now is right above the cave that we were just in. You get some beautiful views of La Jolla Cove and shore. This is just one of those areas that you could hang out at for a long time. We got to watch the kayakers going in and out of a sea cave from above, and last time we were here, we went in that sea cave ourselves. Here's a short clip. From there, we just started to make our way along the coast towards Scripps Park. So many seals! Getting to see all the seals and sea lions up close is easily one of the best things about La Jolla. While the children's pool is the most popular spot to see them, you can really see them all over the coastal bluffs. It's hard to beat seeing the seals and the sea lions, but we're gonna keep exploring. 
This is La Jolla Cove right here in front of me. It's a favorite spot for many people to go sit by the beach, but unfortunately it's not a super nice day today. Even though La Jolla Cove is relatively small, it's still a really popular spot for snorkeling. Plus, you may even see some seals or sea lions up on the beach as well, which I've seen many times when I've been there. We had brunch today, so we're skipping lunch, but we are going to make time for gelato. Sample life. Ooh, that's fun. As I'm sure you know if you watch our videos, Amy and I are huge fans of finding more enjoyable food to eat. Ice cream is pretty high on that list. From there, it was back down to the coast to walk over to Children's Pool. This is the beach that Amy and I were drinking coffee at this morning. You can see how much of a difference the tide schedule makes. We already saw a lot of seals and sea lions today, but we're still heading over to Children's Pool to see if there's anything else over there. The jetty at Children's Pool was created in the 1930s as a way for children to be able to swim in the water without having any of the waves. However, in the 1990s, a bunch of harbor seals came in and took over the area, and basically it's a harbor seal viewing area now. Not much going on today with the seals, but this is always a fun spot to stop. One more thing to do before sunset. Leaving Children's Pool is about a 10 minute walk to our next destination. This area is so amazing, you can basically pick any of these beaches and hang out the entire day at them. Last stop before sunset, exploring tide pools. To go tide pooling, we went past Wipeout Beach and down to Hospitals Reef. Of course, note the tide schedule as it's not going to be very good if you don't go during low tide. We didn't really see much other than one pool which had a bunch of hermit crabs and Amy made a time lapse. The reason why we're ending the day here is that this is an awesome spot for sunset photography. It's got the little tide pools right here and they reflect the sun as it's going down. I'm really excited to shoot here even though we don't have any clouds it should be a pretty cool sunset. It ended up being a great place for sunset as there was lots of areas with the little pools and you can get all sorts of different types of shots. That's it for sunset. One more thing before we end this video, we're going to get tacos. Tacos. I had been hearing about this place called the Taco Stand that was becoming a fan favorite in La Jolla and Amy and I eat Mexican food all the time so we figured that we had to give it a try. I do have to say it lived up to expectations. They had some fabulous tacos and churros. It was a great way to end the day. This is how you end the day in La Jolla. That's it for our time in La Jolla. Thanks so much for exploring with us. Be sure to like and subscribe. You can go to CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com for more.